Button is depressed. Then you better reset that giveaway. Oh, it's already reset. Are you saying I should open it already? <laughs> then, then click that open giveaway button. Because <laughs> that giveaway is now open. And, and then launch the mobbles. The mobbles is already open. <clears throat> okay, I do need to get downboard. That would help. Alrighty. Do it. Play it on the set. Zoom Room video sponsored by the BMC. All right, all right. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. As the Oracle foretold, two idiots who would misinterpret the news so you don't have to. Live from Deltona, Florida, the Avatars themselves, Jack and Laz. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the facepalm so you don't have to do anything other than facepalm yourself and wish that you could facepalm us. Waldo. Well, lunch. Waldo with 100 bits. Thank you, Waldo. And, and there's Lily. Hi, Lily. Waldo didn't want any quotes today. No, I, I guess not. Apparently not. So, oh, there's another hundred bits for me. There you go. It's a good start. And let's see, we got people already shouting hello. We got Tina saying hello. Spawn for egg, Botox, that's Ronan, Rowan, and of course Waldo out there already. If you all didn't hear the preamble, should you tell them now? Let them figure what, it out what? for themselves. <laughs> figure what out? That's exactly the point. There's nothing to figure out. Uh, nothing to see here. What is nothing that that keeps happening here. back there? W w happening where? Right behind me. There's a little something effect going on. Is that somebody standing well, so, there so, invisible or is there so, some so, new? Someone was is uh, invisible behind you. Yeah, okay. That's what I figured. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so you just gotta I, figure I think that might be a condes. Where where Lily is now uh taking up her spot in front of my keyboard and asking very nice. for lots and lots of love. Yes. But oh, giveaways yes. are open. Is that was what I was gonna I was alluding to. We opened them up yes. before we even got here. Yeah, okay. I thought I saw somebody log in when I was running to switch to yeah, switch the banner there, and then uh, I saw that, and I sat back down. I said, oh, maybe I was just seeing things that ran by. So no, I you're don't just see seeing things. You're hallucinating. 
Yeah, it, it, I'm it, just hallucinating. That. I, it's the drugs, man. It's the drugs. Hey, they're good. Yeah, After very, they're... Very good. you're supposed to share those. And so, Des uh, Rowan with the Prime oh. sub hitting oh, us up on yes. Whacked Out Wednesday. Des you Rowan, that means. go ahead and uh, give us a track number. Ah, uh, it's Volgar. Volgar is uh, the guy Volgar. who keeps disappearing. Vulgar display of power. <laughs> yes. Vulgar display. Okay. <laughs> Or is that supposed to be vul vulgar display? <laughs> vulgar display of power. Yes. He says and, and, track number two. Two. Okay. Okay. Uh, we haven't done two in a very long time, so yeah. it is the boomerang. Okay. And Neckernet's uh, building up. Oh damn, the boomerang. Not as fun of the map as we. I look like Santa. Uh, According to Thradia. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, Thradia, I, I don't know if you do know, but Jack's like, you got to see what I'm wearing this morning. And for those who don't understand, he's only wearing his robe. That's it. And the bunny slippers. You have the bunny slippers on? Well, today it's just normal <laughs> flip flops. Um, there's normal but yeah. flip flops. But yes, yeah. just the robe. <laughs> just the robe. No shirt, no shorts, no shoes. The flip flops. <laughs> no, no, nothing other than. And, and he's like, "Should I?" I was like, "Why not?" Man? If you're comfortable, that's what votes your vote. Well, the, the the funny thing is, it's like you have to remember my day starts at six thirty in the morning, and uh, I haven't had time to do anything but work. Uh, so exclamation mark play. We're clicking start in three, two, one, start. Don't forget. That's right. Join in on both sides. That means mine. Twitch.tv slash Cynicist for your chance to win. And exclamation mark, I love free shit to join in the giveaway. Because right streams. now, th this uh, this uh, marbles race is just between you and me. And the only person in the giveaway Ooh. is Spawn for Egg. <laughs> well, Spawn for Egg has a good habit of uh, winning things even w when winning? he's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, get some more people in here, maybe, if we're lucky. <clears throat> yes. Give a shout-out on Whacked Out Wednesday, because I know everybody's all excited for release 87. Oh, uh, yeah. Coming up tomorrow. Yes. We got 15 uh, seconds. This the same game. Yes, it is. Oh, uh, I, I did try to cheat a little bit. Um, I, I looked at the first game's price that uh, I'm giving away today. Oh. $60. $60? What game is that? It is the $59.99. Uh, nice. Well, I can't tell you the name of the game. That takes all the fun out. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got to try yeah. and find the right. There we go. So we can see the whole track here as everybody's running around. Botox in the lead. Yeah. So let's let's see if your theory is true. He who starts out first always well, wins. Notice that the, the boomerang is a slightly different map. It, it's the L-shaped uh, lap map. Whereas the uh, paperclip, which is number one, is the... the uh, paperclip, uh, just rat oval. oval. Yeah, yeah. Um, but right now, Thradia has a commanding lead over everybody on my stream, so it looks like she's going to be getting some scrolls. Um, we'll see whether or not anybody is able to catch up to her. <clears throat> now we've got Botox and Thradia, and Thradia has been holding her own, but let's see if she can come and take the lead. Cynicist coming up from behind. Hit that high ramp and... Uh, Look, Thraddy is second place. Looks like he may have a chance to take first. And it looks like Laz is catching up to Thradia. Um, and actually took the lead over from Thradia. Oh, me. But Thradia is right on Laz's ass. Like a pimple. Um, Botox is coming around for the third lap. 
And, and for some reason, Laz, your marble changes colors. I didn't know that. Yes, it's the uh, <clears throat> the naughty one. The chained up chastity ball. <laughs> yes, yes. You've got your balls in chastity. That's um, right. And, and it but looks Botox like... still holding that lead. Cynicist trying to chase him down. Thradia. I don't know where Thradia went. Thradia. She's not even here. Thradia just retook the lead from there you. There she is. We've we've got oh, now you're back in the lead. Oh, I didn't know that that ball actually changed colors. So. Yeah. It's well, pretty cool. Yeah. It changed. I, I think it's appropriate. It changes from purple to blue, you know. Oh uh... uh, yes, yes. <laughs> And Botox okay, and Laz, for the win. <laughs> Laz won on my side. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to send out any scrolls, but Laz has to send out some scrolls and pull a giveaway. And we're going to be pulling a giveaway. Let's see, is Botox in game? Yes, he is. Going to save me to ch save me from typing it. <clears throat> Congratulations, Botox. Let's get him some scrolls, and we're going to go ahead and close out. I refilled the scroll cache. So I got plenty of scrolls there to give away now. Uh, <clears throat> I still I hmm. still need to make my scrolls. All right, make sure you're raffled up! Exclamation, I love free shit. Oh, yeah, and, and I'm reading work messages. Gotta love them work uh, messages. Work messages. Oh, man, so... Uh, you, you'll laugh at this. The the, the di doc, Diet Dr. Pepper. Yesterday, like, I took a trek outside the house um, after I got my, my second vaccine shot. So, uh, but uh, uh, I was on my last can of Diet Dr. Pepper. And so this morning, I ordered more Diet Dr. Pepper for a 7 a.m., or seven to eight window uh, from my local grocery store. And what's really funny is like on the order for the substitutions, I said, uh, if not this, then this, if not that, then this, if not that, then this. <laughs> and so it's like all the way down to like two liter bottles. I mean, I, I was trying to cover everything. So, so if they don't have the... 12 packs then you wanted the 18 pack and if they didn't have the 18 pack well, you wanted the six pack and if you didn't have the six pack you wanted the plastic bottles and if they didn't have the plastic bottles you wanted the two liter bottles does that sort of cover the no, no, no no so <laughs> it, it it was the the order was uh 20 packs to 12 packs ah, okay okay three liter bottles to two liter bottles uh, you still got three liter bottles in Texas? I haven't seen one of them in years. All right, let's close out this giveaway. Yeah. yeah. Gonna pick ourselves a wiener. And Box Try, congratulations, yeah. you are the winner. As let's see what Box Try's got himself a copy of. And uh, we got Tire Das. Now, I want to say a Kalabet, but it's spelt wrong. A Lockabet. So it's nice to hear you guys again. I've been listening for a while now, and of course, thank you for listening. You can listen on thank your you. in-game radios. You can join us at twitch.tv slash Genesis or twitch.tv slash NBNN News. Or, of course, tune in on your in-game radios. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see what he's got here. i going to scroll down a bit. Scroll down so I can open up these yeah. keys. And we've got a copy right, of Bit Dungeon no 3. Was. Ooh, isn't that one like $29.99 or something? I was going to say, that one is, uh, what is it? Uh, $9.99, Bit Dungeon 3. I think it was a little bit more expensive when it first came out, but uh, still $10. Fox Try, congratulations, ah. and you're quite welcome. Thank you for joining us, and of course, that's what we're here for. Next giveaway is now open. Of course, you guys want more giveaways, more Marvel's actions. Make that bar move, and we'll do more giveaways and play more Marvel's right here on Whacked Out Wednesday. 500 bits, 
and we get giveaways. Otherwise, right. you have to wait till the end. Oh, man. So have you paid attention to the Tweeterverse today? I have not. I actually haven't even refreshed it. So let me do that right now. As oh. I, di I did catch something on my phone that I thought oh. was a little interesting, but I don't really pay attention to the phone that much because... Uh, uh, I, Chris did the excellent thing of posting a survey on Twitter for determining how to do things because all of 41 people have responded. Um, Chris has fixed a number of issues with bards. I can Bard. now easily control whether the effect area moves with the bard or remains where it was cast. I'd always intended for them to move like Melody of Mending does. I'm making them all the same. And uh, I I did vote that the effect area should move with the bard. Well, you know, I have an uh, interesting thought on that. Um, the idea of a spell is the spell is cast, and then if it needs to be directed <clears throat> at something, uh, like a light spell well, or a fireball, a fireball is directed at an enemy, a heal spell is you know, directed at yourself or another player. Um, when you cast these, shouldn't you be able to choose between casting them upon yourself, casting upon maybe the tank, so anybody who's around the tank when the tank moves? Um, why should it just stay with the bard, first off? That's my first question. And with um, anything else, um, if I want to cast light, why shouldn't I be able to throw throw a light ball over your head? Can I do that, or is that does that work? I don't know. Can. Let's see. You, you can, but we have to be in the same party. But, okay, you got to be partied. So I can't just go throwing light balls over random strangers' heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, <laughs> here, here, here. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, invite to party. There we go. There, there you go. You are you are now lit up yeah. appropriately. Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> Enjoy your nine and a half minute light. Entire Das, you're quite welcome. Of course, again, thank you. Is uh, thanks to folks like you guys out there who've kept so, us here uh, doing this six plus okay. years, five days a week. And so, I don't think anybody has got a record like we do when it comes to doing this kind of shit. No, n definitely not in the Shroud community. Um, so the the important thing that I think you're missing is that when you cast a my my bard spell effect is no longer what the fuck they broke it there you okay, go okay so th th there's one that actually works uh the and that that seems to be moving is, with you as you move around the effect spins so, around you but let's see yeah. do i get so, the effect and does the effect spin around me when i'm over here no although no, no. i should have the that, buff right that the that's went away because you left you left the area of effect so now yeah. you're in Try, the trying to figure out what the area of effect is. So it's not too yeah, far. It, it, if it I go, if I go right you... here, it disappears. It just goes poof. So yeah. you can't go too far from your party member with that to begin with. But the, the other thing is you have to remember that technically gameplay lore idea is that as this uh, bard song is still being done, I'm still singing or doing whatever. So if you pay really close to attention to my mouth, you can see that, ooh, I'm still doing weird things. And so notes are coming out of my mouth. So that's why it's not something where it's a target Tina, cast on the target. I would like to agree with you, but if you notice, Jack neither has instrument in hand, he's actually got a sword in his hand. You're saying he's singing a melody, because yeah, then yeah, I want yeah. I want to hear something. I I, I want to. Yeah. Hey man, you, <laughs> you don't want to hear me sing. Um, yeah, well, is so, he singing, so you, sing, singing I, in I my move, ear move, now. Move, there you go. I move right in front of you, so that way you can see the musical notes that are coming off of me, even though the song duration is over. No bugs related to this. I, I just also love the fact that it's like... Man, Chef says the singing sword. 
Yeah, it, it is a singing sword. Uh, Just somewhere. Yeah. But if you I go with says I never on. won a reward on soda. How does how does this all work? Uh, I need you to explain what do you mean you never won a reward on soda? Have you never won anything in a stream or have you never won anything during uh, a contest? Uh, you need to be a little bit more clear there. This is coming in game text, by the way, just so you guys uh, know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there's a couple of different things. Like for like the Friday live stream, if you've never won anything on that, uh, you have to pay attention to the Friday update because there will be a phrase um, that you have to enter in any of the in-game chats. Um, doesn't matter uh, what chat. It, it doesn't. It shouldn't matter what chat because they're just pulling everything. The important thing that I think everybody should realize is do it early before the stream because I don't. Um, and he says have... anything on a stream. Okay, I'll give you a good example. On our stream, uh, you need to do one of two things. Uh, you either need to win a Marvel's race and we'll go ahead and send you some scrolls in game or. Uh, be picked in a raffle. All you got to do is be on our stream and type in exclamation. I love free shit for a chance to win. That's all it is on our streams. Um, yeah. Along with many other streamers. You just have to type in a phrase do during a stream. So you need to go out to twitch.tv slash cinesist or twitch.tv NBN news or preferably both and type in I love free shit exclamation. I love free shit all in one string. And uh and, That's and that all you need to do for a chance to, to win. Register an, an email address for Twitch to have your own uh, Twitch account. Yes, you need to be a member of and, Twitch and, and be nice. I, and I don't know. Uh, do they need to be followers of our channels? Fans. I think I don't um, know if I have it set that you actually need to be a follower. I think you need to be a follower on the channels um, as well in order to uh, talk or. Hold, hold um, on. Yes, on my channel, I actually did. Winner must be a follower in order to win. Yeah, let me see. I can always uncheck that, but I want you to follow my channel. I don't even see that option here. Uh, so on the giveaway, you have to click the gear in the top right hand corner. Ah, okay. That's why. Yeah, it must be a follower in order to win. So uh, it helps to be followers because yeah. you get notified when we go live as well. So you know you'll never miss a show. And again, on the uh, live stream, for the uh, actual official strategy avatar, again, they have a phrase that pays, and you got to type it in any time between noon on Friday and the time the stream goes live, or make a purchase through the Crown Store on Friday between noon and the stream goes live. I've won yeah. several times just by typing in the phrase that pays, and again, um, like Jack I, said, I, 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 I would did, do it I did early. Have, I did have like a two and a half year dry spell. Uh, for winning something on on their streams. So yeah, I just recently won uh, greenhouse, a little elven greenhouse, uh, yeah. a couple weeks back. Uh, and the, uh, the last time I won was with an alt account. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes I have time, and uh, you know, I will log in my alts and just type it in just for giggles and grins, but uh, never seems to do any good. So I just said, nah, yeah. I type it in once a, once a week when we're live on Fridays, and uh, yep. your phone goes yeah. dong. What? Oh, that's he's got Twitch installed on his phone, so whenever we go, live, oh, it goes you, dong. Yeah, you you can you can set it to alert you or not. Gotcha, um, gotcha. So going back to the Twitter verse, I'm thinking uh, we. Chris, you tweeted, know. Go ahead. Chris tweeted out. <laughs> Our hearts go out to the real life and in-game families for three longtime community members who all passed away recently. Ozzy Quester, Boris Mondragon, and Nymphadora. Nightshade slash uh, Demeron will all be deeply missed by many. Uh, Ravelox is erecting memorials for them in Brittany Graveyard. Now, I'm just curious. I haven't been out to Brittany Graveyard, and it's been a while since we've covered this. Uh, we ha now have a section in Brittany Graveyard for those who have passed. Is that correct? Um, that I don't know. Becondus, can you confirm that? 
Yeah. Is he kind of out there today? I don't think I've seen him. Well, I, I haven't seen him in game, but he, he, he might be watching. Might be. I don't know. But M60 is watching. M60? Yeah. People, the, people who don't know. Yeah. Is, M60 is a member of the NBNN crew here in game, too. At least he used to be. Oh, Let's oh, see yeah. if he still is. <laughs> I believe he is. I don't know. What's, that, what's our guild list look like? Yeah, there's only a couple of us. <clears throat> and it's all your alts. Yep. Pete, Pete the Noob, Wayne Klotz, Alex, Dread Dragon, Jackson yep. Assist, and Lazarus Long. That's right. Yep. Wayne Klotz. <laughs> yep. And, and Alex Miss Wayne. is M60. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> M60. Yeah. I have trouble M remembering to log in each month. M60 never responded to my tweet on his uh, page. Um, oh? I think I followed up one of his tweets with a, a reply and he never responded. I'd say it made me sad, but I can't even remember what the tweet context content was. <laughs> well, I tell you, M60, next time I get up in the Atlanta area, I got to look you up, man. There's maybe the next Dragon Con they have up there. Yeah. <clears throat> and China and then... get, gets in there, there. so he is. Yeah. He says he thought he did reply. So now all you got to uh, do is type exclamation, I love free shit, like you see everybody else typing in there. <laughs> now now M60 is going to start trolling me on uh, Twitter. There you go. <laughs> Which will be fun. Uh, uh, the other tweet from Chris is, lots of bard changes coming in for this release. All effects will move with the bard. Only 100% effect with instrument out. Not required to play it. Ah, finally. Um, so uh, I've got a question about that. If you're in combat mode, if you look at my character sheet, I'm, I have an instrument on my character sheet. Yes, uh, as I always do as well. Uh, you're carrying so, the loot. Yeah, is my... I've is got my loot my, loaded, too. Yeah, is my loot out or not? It's equipped, I I assume. Uh, yeah. Yeah, see, now, this, this is going total contradictory to a lot of things we know. Since lockdown was last week, changes like yeah. this shouldn't be going in a day before the damn release. One. Number two... Uh, didn't he just say yesterday that we're going forward to this release is planned and it's just going to be a tick release? We're not going to be doing this kind of stuff. Didn't he just say that yesterday? And yes, three, yes, yes, he don't, don't you think seven hours is just a little too short for a public poll for people to answer? Because that's all you gave people. I didn't get a chance, but you've already made your decision. And many people didn't even get a chance to see that because you know what? They don't follow you on Twitter. Okay. The official soda forums. It's the reason why we call them official. The reason why they're called yeah. forums. Okay. Social media is not, yeah, you know, I mean, I know a lot of people use it, but I don't consider social media to be an official platform. If I got a problem with a company, I go to their website well, and I complain well, on their it, website. It, I don't tweet to them the, hoping to embarrass them in public to get a reply out of them. I go to their website, I click contact, and I get in touch with them. If I want information, I go to the forums. I read the forums every day and I get the information so, or you so, watch NBNN. Um, yeah. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to add some additional things onto this. The tweet is actually coming from catnip games. Right. But if, if you go to the shroud of the avatar website and you look at the copyright stuff, it's copyright portalarium. Right. If you go to Twitter and you do shroud of the avatar, which is a uh, user. Uh, It'll on, come up with the it. Shroud of the Avatar account? Yes. So you've got the official Shroud of the Avatar account, which doesn't get used very frequently. I think Gail Garion um, is using that personally. Um, I don't know. 
But uh, uh-huh. we, we got several people already chiming in. I don't have a Twitter account. I don't have a Twitter account. I don't have a yeah. Twitter account. I know you all don't have a Twitter account, and that's why we complain about it, because the official forum should be the place for official communications. Okay? Um, yeah. We, we had a, this discussion. Let's go back to uh, the stand-up, and, and okay? The, at Shroud of the Avatar does not exist. Really? A shroud, shroud of... of- the yeah, avatar. Shroud of, shroud avatar. of Avatar. Yeah. So someone should create that troll account for Shroud of the Avatar at Shroud of the Avatar. Um, it although um, it may um, run into their maximum characters for a user. I, I was going to say there's probably a good reason for that, or so, somebody somebody did do that. Well, no, if there's no handle, if, if it was registered, somebody would already have it. So and it would register and, as uh, one. So. And if you look at the at Shroud of the Avatar, um, the last tweet was a retweet of the Our Hearts and Minds. The previous tweet from Chris that was retweeted was a nice soda event calendar. And prior to that was Avatar's update number 421. Let's go over there. To so Shroud not even the Avatar. pool. Yeah. So you, you've got this massive disconnect between where things are. And so you have to follow catnip games on Twitter. But even if you go mess with it even more, because I had to agree to the e, EU, uh, EU. Well, see, now the there, there, there is. Uh, yeah, see, again, two hours ago, it looks like he put that tweet. Uh, Ravlox is erecting memorials in there. Is the last tweet two hours ago. Yep. Uh, Soda events calendar got out there. But if you're going to be doing it, either got to put it all places <laughs> and give people opportunity and poll them all, or don't do it at all. Don't just throw it on a Twitter account that you know and, maybe people are checking out. Now this so, this account, yeah. Shroud of Avatar, has six thousand three hundred and fourteen followers compared to the eight hundred and fifty five followers that catnip games has. I mean, even NBNN has more followers than that. Um, yeah. Just well, say, just the, say the it. So. Is, here, here, just for you, I'm in, including the screenshot um, mm. inside of uh, Discord. So I went to my Steam library and looked at the developer and publisher. It's both listed as Portalarium. It's not catnip it games. Yes. So when you, you end up with a bunch of obfuscation, so everything's clear as mud um, as far hmm. as what's the relationship between Catnip Games and Shroud of the Avatar. Uh, Chris has publicly stated that he owns Shroud of the Avatar. That says it right there on Twitter, owns and operates. Yes. But everything that we see says Portalarium, not Shroud, not, not Catnip yeah. Games. Again, I, I, I've had my, you know, people ask questions and quandaries and this, that, the other thing. And my understanding, the way I see it, is while Catnip is its own entity, Catnip is just a subsidiary of Portalarium for whatever reasons. And I, know, I believe I know the reasons, but I'm not going to state that publicly because that's my own opinion and I do not know it for fact. So I'm just going to keep those thoughts to myself. But... <clears throat> Yeah, but it, many, many of you, it, I'm it, sure, it, have it, your own. See, I wouldn't even call it a subsidiary because that means that the Catnip Games is actually owned by Portalarium. Now, what I would go with is uh, Chris licensed the technology to develop uh, Shroud for Portalarium because well, who does your subscription go to every single month? According to my credit card, Portalarium. So not catnip games. No. Yeah. So clear as mud. Um, but Chris will say, I own it. But um, as far as I know, every single person that emailed the lawyer that Chris said, email your questions related to this to this e- lawyer, not one has actually been responded to. Um, I believe so- they were all responded to, but the answer was MYOB. <laughs> Noob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, N-O-I-B. Or none of your business? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah, if it's my money, I assume it is my business, but, you know, 
Uh, again, that was that wasn't grade A stock. That was uh, B stock that you were never going to make any money off of anyway. Non, non, so non-voting shares. Non, yeah. Uh, and so yeah. E even if, if even if they made billions of dollars, you aren't going to see any residuals off that stock. So I don't know why. Personally, I didn't invest in it because, again, I called my money man, and my money man says. It, you know, can no. you sell it? Can you sell it and make a return on your investment? I says, not that I know of. He says, and don't fucking buy it. Very simple. If you can't resell it and get rid of it and offload it and get your money back, don't touch any stocks. So if you can't sell stocks, yeah. you can't physically get your stocks. <clears throat> now, now, Shadow Vice, you know, that's just, uh, you know, and the, the big boys on Wall Street are just pissed off because somebody's playing in their fucking sandbox and they don't like it. It's okay if they do it all day long, but when somebody else comes along and starts manipulating their little sandbox stock market, they don't like when other people do it, and they got all mad about it. But what the what the short trade, you know, the day traders and the short traders did to do that GameStop move is fucking genius, as far as I'm concerned. Now, is, is that good? That that's you know, that's perspective, but uh, well, yeah. You know. So th that's one where. Um, large institutional investors do that same thing that the GameStop did. That's what I, exactly what issue, I'm saying. When they, when, when they recommend something is buy or sell or hold. So a large institution saying, hey, this is a sell stock means we don't have any faith on it. Um, Get rid of it before you uh, lose your shirt. Yeah. yeah. Um, then you you end up with like the internet doing it. It's a bunch of bad guys. Um uh, it, it's kind of like uh, what happened to Bitcoin prices. Uh, I, I was just going to say that the day yeah, before yeah. there, there where, was somebody who said, don't invest in Bitcoin unless you've got Elon money. Yeah. You know? And it's well, like, the, I, I did actually. So Elon turned around and said, I think the price of Bitcoin is too high after his company just invested $1.5 billion on it. And then from there, it went from 54,000 down to 45,000. And I'm willing to bet that Elon turned around and went through and bought a bunch more Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin yeah. Because, yeah, he can he can do all kinds of stuff. Um, <clears throat> Mom says they don't uh, like it so, when someone else plays in their rigged game using their own rigged rules against them. Exactly. Absolutely, Mom. Absolutely. Exactly. Um, and <clears throat> so restless, restless reaper has a comment give atos credit when it's due at we least do. he's working on important balancing now we give him a lot of credit for working hard working diligently uh we do not give him credit for the obfuscation problems uh the systems that are implemented that have year long problems um yeah. Um we so we we do give credit where credit is due. Um I, I, I'll give you a good example right frequent. here. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we we've we've gone from stealth to <clears throat> bards to targeting and back and forth. Okay. I've been complaining about targeting for six years now. Okay. I would like targeting to work the way targeting should work when I target something. When I'm out in deep Ravenswood and I want to target that pig and my arrows start going to that skeleton or zombie, I'm sorry, your targeting sucks. And I will say it. It sucks because it's not targeting what I told it to target. Okay? Your targeting system doesn't work the way it should be. When somebody runs in front of me when I've got something targeted and all of a sudden it goes and starts targeting them when I didn't do anything at all, I've got a hard target on my tab key targeting that Yes. And it, it goes away, you know, when my pet runs across or your pet runs across the camera and all of a sudden its name flashes up on screen where my target was and I didn't do anything, we've got a problem. And we've been complaining about this problem. Barding is a whole new system that's going in episode two. It's behind the paywall. And until you buy episode two, you can't get to it. So we shouldn't be working on that stuff. And we've still got stuff from episode one. That needs some really serious looking at. That's what we look at. So we love to give him credit for all this stuff. Well, I love to see him doing this. But again, seven hours on a poll and you made the decision. 
How about put it out there so that, you know, I don't know. Uh, how many people did you say answered that poll? 41. Okay, so 41 people network. made the decision for thousands upon thousands of players out there because only 41 people opinion was taken into account. And if you want to look at uh, 41 votes, uh, see if, let's see if we can see the results as to how many. Yeah, yeah. It, you, you have to vote and then you'll be able to <clears> see that. 80.5% 80, <clears throat> of the I can see that. that said effect area should, be, should move. I just wanted to see. So at, at that rate, uh, that means that uh, basically 30 people, if I'm breaking that right down right, is that right? 80, 20? No, that's... Uh, Something like that. Yeah. So uh, uh, a small handful of people got to make that decision, and it's done. He's made it. It's going in tomorrow. I mean, that's just to me. I'm sorry. I got a problem with that. I didn't even see that until we got to it here today in the news. And, you know, it's, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Tina, don't get me started on the episode one storyline problems. Yeah, talk to it, Jack about so, that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so <clears throat> it's one where it's like, okay. Um, Four years ago, I had, I I gave the developers a challenge. That been was four years to craft ready for the scroll challenge. Yes, about that. Yeah, uh, craft one one hundred of each scroll. In that time, the only reason that Chris started the challenge was because he was guilted into it on a stream where, uh he put it up to a vote and people said, do Jack's challenge. Um, then That's the only time I'll I accept had, a vote like that when he's doing it live and people are doing yes. things like that. Yeah. Yes. And, and then he said, holy shit, this sucks. We need to completely revamp this system. So From we, there, we, we, we changed we, crafting. We, yeah. Go ahead. I'll, I'll we got it. two pieces of duct tape, just two pieces of duct tape. One was increase the number of crafts that you can do with a a three theoretical limit of 120 items. Um, and and th that, did, that didn't come from that challenge. The only thing that came out of that challenge no. was the well, first Band-Aid. Uh, and the first Band-Aid was instead of scr uh, crafting scrolls one at a time, now we can add 12 scrolls in a batch. And then we move less, that... Uh, for, and then we just moved XP. it, it moved it from one one field of special speciality to another and added another component which made the cost go up, which nobody asked for. We want we just wanted to you to make the number bigger. We didn't ask you to do that. We didn't ask you to change the crafting. We didn't ask we just wanted the numbers bigger and we wanted it to be easier. That's all. Well it it, it and actually fix the majority of things because you, you end up with uh, why does it take 17 trees in order to make a fucking box? Yeah, right. And so there's a disconnect between resources and crafting skills that needs to be addressed. There's all kinds of different issues related to crafting. Um, then you ah, end up with bridge the troll. challenge it, now, two. Now, now there, there is an interesting argument, bridge troll. When I joined up what? for this crowdfunded video game crowdfunded by us the players i don't consider it to be his video game i consider it to be our video game because it was crowdfunded if they financed it raised the funds from private backers that was one thing but this was not yeah. the case this was a crowdfunded game so yeah throw that <laughs> argument right out the door he has control of it but yeah it, well <clears throat> We don't even know the extent of that. I mean, we do know oh, that he does okay. everything it, for it. But, an yeah. an another loophole. That was Portalariums you shook hand with. <laughs> well, according to all the documentation that we already addressed, Bridge Troll, remember, everything says Portalarium on it. Nothing says Catnip Games. That's right. So, um, again, so my money still goes to Portalarium yeah. every month. So, you know, that's all I'm saying. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, the, the second developer challenge, which is two years old, um, in ain't, ain't never months, even going to get addressed, was um, the developers should play their own game, um, and the challenge was an active developer needs to complete 
the episode quest li- episode one quest line without, without cheating. cheating. That's right. So start a brand new character, do the entire episode one quest line. Oh. Uh, from there, Chris was like, fuck that. Developers don't play their own games. Yeah, well, we know. Um, and, and we know. Then we can actually reference that a few days ago where Chris said, you know what? I'm going to go play a bard to see how these actual things work. Yeah. So again, exactly, exactly our point, Sentinel. Yes. It's copyright Copy- on the main page says 2021 Portalarium Incorporated. Portalarium so somebody's Incorporated. updated that. Yeah. But Taslo's still on top of things, changing the website up, updating. And again, as far yeah. as I understand, Portalarium is still in existence, just not running Shroud of the Avatar. Well, no. Another hundred know. bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We don't but again, know. yeah, um, we're, we're not we're not here to bash all this and all that stuff. Of course, we uh, we yeah. do like to derail the train oh, and bridge troll. Oh, oh, he wants to go pen it. Yeah, pen it. M sixty. Um, yeah, we, we, we got a great idea. Open source the game. Absolutely. Now we've we've talked about yeah. that quite a bit, and we'll talk about that as soon as we get back. Uh, from this game of marbles. So Bridge Troll is going to bring us to the Raging Pin. That's track 11. It, and I really think that like six months after they went into uh, live, they f- fucked themselves by changing the business model from you're going to pay $49.99 or when it's on sale, $29.99 to free to play. And then from there, you completely changed the funding model of the game. You changed everything related to the game. And that happened six months after uh, release. release. And it's it's one where it's like not, not everybody's, I mean. Now, again, when we first started this out, there were asset yeah. packs. And I assumed that asset packs were going to be released for the players to play with. So we could submit stuff like dungeons, like scenes, like equipment, like clothing, like housing, like anything that was in the game with asset packs. We were gonna, and they just threw that out the window. I mean, that was my original lure, aside from it being a Richard Gary at Lord British game, was yeah. that we were going to get asset packs. We were going to have access to that information so that, hey, we can even build our own dungeons and maybe even insert them to the single player part of the game. That was my hopes. Uh, I had bigger hopes that it was going to be more like uh, Second Life. Hey, hey, last. Yeah, last. go ahead. Three, two, one, start. Where it was going to be more like Second it. Life, yeah. where you can create the assets, insert them into the game, and sell them under your own brand. So if I made a pair of uh, you know spiffy shoes that I wanted to sell, sell and I had a girlfriend, uh, you know, God bless, she's passed away now, but uh, she made a living. She used to live in Podunk, Oviedo, Florida. Made a living in Second Life, and by selling women's shoes in Second Life, and was able to move out of Florida and move to a Midtown Manhattan place in New York City off of the fun she made from selling shoes on Second Life. Okay, so um, this was a lucrative <laughs> deal for this woman. Yeah. Oh man. Uh oh. Man, that's fucking hilarious, Mom. What what Mom just posted in our Discord channel. Um. Yeah. <sighs> Stand up, take take three. Mm. <laughs> Sorry for derailing you there, Laz. But yeah, yeah no, it, no. Yeah, so so yeah, we we do get frustrated about a bunch of things. We still support. In this some was way seven minutes ago. The game. Yeah. But. Yeah. Uh, um. There, there's a spreadsheet that. We used to have it used to do that and a bunch of other spreadsheets. You know what? Yeah. Why don't y'all just go back to doing the daily stand up corner? And we'd really all appreciate that. I, I don't think we need a spreadsheet oh, of a list of items and things to do. I just think we need a stand up corner that says, Where are we going? Who? What are what are people working on? Um yeah, yeah. only two people left in my map. Really? We haven't had a single yeah. ejection here yet that I can see. Half my field is ejected. Zazel running yeah, away we'll, with we'll it at the moment. We'll, we will definitely talk about that tomorrow. Um, that that post. 
unless we get lots and lots of bits. Tina ejected first ejection. Azazel popped up. Uh, Is he going to land back in? Azazel ejected. Botox ejected. Cynicist ejected. Here we go. We're finally getting the ejections. Shadow Down to six. And mom are doing things. Mom oh, looks... is way behind Shadow Vice, but Shadow Vice is about to make his way to. Shadow Vice oh, popped up, the... stays in. Bridge Troll trying to steal that lead. You could have been narrating my stream oh, because mom right. and Shadow yeah. Vice. Sh Shadow Gen 60 Vice just got ejected. ejected. Only one left in my map is mom. Mom's working her way to the pin. And mom is at the pin. And mom's ejected. No one wins on my stream. No winners. No, Looks like mom's no going to pull it off here. We'll see. And then, uh, and mom hangs on for the win. Yeah, and who pushed him sixty? <laughs> well, did you did you take that ejection and shove it into his back? Yep. I don't know. I don't want it in the search box. I want it in the send box. Oh, yeah. It really it, sucks I mean, when you like, type in the name in the so, wrong place. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to like development tasks and everything else, it's like six years ago, we were promised that you would be able to move your health bar as, as soon, soon as somebody as got back, someone from comes back from their honeymoon. <laughs> I would like you to move your health bar. Today. And that's, and that was not a DLMV. That was as soon as he gets back, we'll get it done. <laughs> yeah. Um, Still waiting. Then, then uh, we we look at like performance and everything else. So w we have spent a lot of time trying to do all kinds of stuff. I mean, we still enjoy the game. Uh, we still do things. So I waiting your on shadow vice. Yeah. If you don't enjoy it, leave. But at the same time, the reason that we're so vocal is we want to improve things. Um, even though that we, we have both been threatened to be banned. I don't know about you. I haven't. <laughs> you have. I've been banned on Twitch. I've never, yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, I've, I've gotten phone calls from Richard and Star. Actually, Star was too pissed off to call me. I had to call him, but, uh, that's how I got yeah. a call. From, that's how I got it. Actually, that was the second one. The first one, Star said, call me, sent me his phone number. The second one, Richard called me. And said, uh, I'm calling you because Star's too pissed to call you uh, about, you know. So, I mean, we've gotten Good. in a little bit of warm water uh, from time to time for our well, uh, commentary. And, you know. But like, <clears throat> the, the threat of banning me actually came indirectly through a third party oh, a guild yeah. leader of a guild that I am not affiliated with. Yeah, okay. I forgot about that. Yeah. Forgot about that. So we, a guild we, we, that I am not affiliated with and had not been affiliated with for nearly a year was receiving messages. All right. We got to pick a winner in this giveaway. Hope everybody's raffled up because I'm closing it and we are picking that winner. And Ovashi, congratulations. Oh, congrats. Let's see what Ovashi's got himself a copy of. And I need to check my calendar real quick to see if I have a one o'clock meeting. Fuck. Yeah. Did, did I say yes or no? Yeah, I need to go you didn't mention anything about it yesterday, so. We've got a con copy of Quantum Replica. Quantum Replica. Let's see what that's all about. Seven ninety nine on Steam for Overshi. Yeah. <laughs> Bridge troll, you know, you should put a list of these uh, Barbie things together. <laughs> yeah. Barbie's loose teeth. <laughs> the trouble with meth. <laughs> yes. That's too funny. 
Oh, Vichy, right here up on top. Love, I go love when that happens. Calendar. Um, yes. Okay. It, it it looks like I actually have time to uh, take a, a shower and change clothes before Matt, my next meeting. we're on. Ah, take oh. your meeting in your robe. What the hell? It's just stay in the room. Well, I do need to shower, um, which definitely becomes a priority because I haven't showered but, yet. Uh, as much as I want to jump back to that topic that we were just talking about, uh, we need to do no, some we're, other we're things because that tomorrow. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, thanks, mom. Jump on over to the calendar real quick and remind everybody that there is a new addition to the calendar section. We got Thorax event calendar is now up there on the calendar. So you can just see the MDN and try to have community calendar Thorax event calendar where Thorax is compiling in game events uh, that he's sourcing from wherever he can get a hold of them. And then of course the official soda upcoming events calendar is there so that uh, anything that they've got posted is there, but uh, you can catch the calendar out on nbnn.info. And of course, we do appreciate you checking out the website. All sorts of great stuff out there, but off to the sponsors. You're tuned in to Lunch with Laz and Jack, and we thank you all for joining us here on NBNN, no matter how you're watching, no matter how you're listening. And, of course, uh, our newest uh, new, newest person joining us, Ty, hanging out here with us. Yeah. Ty Das Alaka Beth is uh, hanging out listening and joining us now now able to enter giveaways so thank you yeah. for uh you know all of you for being tuned in for joining us and watching us of course the britannian mining company is uh one of our best sponsors sponsors our zoom room every year and of course is a loyal patron on our patreon so of course if you want to support us you can do it many a ways cheering in bits and stuff below click the links below on either one of our streams uh, go to the website, click the links on the website, or become a patron like the BMC does. WRFB Radio Free Britannia, bringing you the latest news and entertainment 24-7 around the clock, and now fixed on TuneIn. Uh, if you all didn't know, TuneIn had an update just recently, and if it wasn't an HTTPS stream, all radio stations that weren't secure got dumped due to the Chromium update across web browsers uh, that is now resolved and fixed so anybody who's listening via tune in can now listen again thanks to the folks that tune in to making that easy to update shout music for abc file needs if you're looking for abc files for in game go check out shroudmusic.com you can share out there you can upload your own creations or download what other people created and get some abc files for your in-game stuff capius is where's one of the many Many independently owned and operated shops on ShroudMarketplace.com. Caffius has got all your wood goods taken care of. And if you need stuff for crafting and you've got more money than time, go check out Caffius's shop. www.torque.rocks. Torque's a German streamer streaming Shroud of the Avatar, and he wants you to go visit his stream. Torque.rocks will take you directly to his Twitch streams when he's live so you can use that for easy access he's got giveaways he's got gold coins kodos stream keys and all sorts of other stuff so go check him out and give him a follow it'll make him really happy because uh Torque enjoys doing his streams he's also bilingual of course german and english so for you german players don't forget to go check out Torque's stream and of course shroudmarketplace.com the place to go for all your virtual vendable goods out there on in Shroud of the Avatar. Don't forget to go ahead and check out all the goodies out there because you can get everything. I'm going to let Jack tell you a little bit more about it before we get out of here. That's right. You need to go to shroudmarketplace.com, click on that register button, and buy anything and everything Shroud related. Over 200 different players registered as vendors, each one of those vendors responsible for setting their own prices and maintaining their own inventory. And so do what Laz and myself do. We put it on sale, then we put it in a chest for the bank. That's right. And then we forget about it. And then it, then it's when it sells, you get an email as well as that PayPal notification that hey, you've got money, and then you deliver it. Sold and my last my last lone fire dancer outfit just the other day. Yes. Anything and everything shroud related can be bought or sold as long as it's not a bannable offense. And uh 
not a whole lot of bannable offenses in Shroud of the Avatar. So you need to go through, go to shroudmarketplace.com, click on everything, buy it all. Or buy all the goodies. All. Use all the buy services. All. Go get married in game and hire me to perform your wedding. All sorts of great stuff you can do out on Shroud Marketplace. And of course, don't forget to check out Cynesis stuff or Weddings and More by Laz because it's not just weddings. It's a whole lot more. So go on and check it out today. And of course, uh, many vendors, including myself and Jack, use the uh, Make Me an Offer as well. Uh, you may not like the price. You may want to say, hey, I'd like to offer you a little bit less. Of course, uh, lowball offers are usually rejected right out the window, but make a reasonable offer. We just might accept it on Shroud Marketplace. So yeah. don't forget there is that. Are you ready yeah. to close it out today, Jack? I am clicking that close button right now. And then I clicked on pick a wiener. And Qbert. Qbert EK. Uh, yep. Qbert. I have yet to pick a winner. And. and Hubert got himself a copy of Tesseractus Fantasy Versus on Steam. That game Fantasy is versus. Fantasy Versus. Tesseractus has got himself a copy of Re Legion. Not Religion. Re Legion. And Re Legion is going for $9.99 on Steam for Tesseractus. Congratulations to you out there. And of course, thank you to everybody who's scrolling by there on the credits. Got to thank you all for, for everything today. Bridge Troll for the bits, Waldo for the bits, Desro, uh, <clears throat> Desroan for the sub. And uh, who was it? Uh, Thanks for everybody hanging out, <laughs> watching, contributing talking distracting us because we had a bunch of things queued that we never talked about yes a whole, whole bunch a whole bunch provided, of stuff was queued. Mom provided the topic for tomorrow the fighter for tomorrow's release day so we shall see uh what we get for that but we gotta roll up and get out of here that's right roll up roll 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 puff puff pez <clears throat> we'll be back with more tomorrow right here on nbnn till then i'm laz I'm Jack. And we are NVNN. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.